Hey everybody, this is Jaffe. Uh, we are getting started today with Twilio, finally. Um, this is going to be a really f like quick overview tutorial. This isn't uh, a tutorial on actually setting up with a Twilio account because they actually explain it really well on their website. So um, if you go to Twilio.com, you can... Uh, take the tour and and go through all their stuff and it's really it's really straightforward these guys are pretty spot on about uh, helping you out and stuff so um, and by the way have fantastic customer service um, which in this day and age is hard to find and these guys are awesome so just know that too so to get started we're actually going to work in an XML file um, because that's how the Twilio uh, API handles uh, your information is through XML. So I've created a new XML file called inbound call handler. And so I'm going to give it the uh, standard XML header. So, which I should have just done in the first place but this information is actually going to come in important uh, in header information when we we'll start using PHP because you'll have to have this information there but we'll get into that later um, in fact probably later on in this screencast we'll get into that so this is the uh, exactly what it's called inbound call handler uh, this is when the person makes a phone call this is the response they get on the line so we are going to start with Twilio's own tags here um, they do need to be capitalized but we start out with a response tag because that's what you're getting a response uh, all their stuff is named pretty obviously so there's no questioning what what the tags do so everything's got to be in between these response and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna gather information now the reason we're gathering information is uh, because people are gonna press one press two that kind of thing so you have to you have to allow the system to understand what's happening so we're gathering now this is just like a form so if you've watched my other screencast on the form and the PHP basically what we're doing is the form action which is going to access another file um, which we I, I've created but I haven't done anything with it yet so the IVR handler PHP and the method is going to be a post method because it's just putting information in there so this should look all familiar to you if you've done any uh, you've done my previous tutorials on the form so num digits is gonna equal one um, as I recall currently you don't you're not required to put this in here um, but if you had you know if somebody had to be able to press 11 or 12 or something like that then you would want to be able to to let the handler know that it's going to be accessing more than just one digit but at this point we're only doing one digit I could be way off on that but that's as far as well that's kinda of what I gathered from reading it ah gathered that's funny so we close our gather tag so everything that we want to happen inside these gather tags is the information that it's gonna collect from people pressing the button so so we want it to say something so we open and close a say tag and what do we want it to say let's say thank you for calling our business all right and let's give it another say tag now you can put this all into one sentence um, uh, and in fact let's do that right now uh, if you read the documentation, Twilio puts a lot of things, they put things into separate say tags. So each sentence will be its own say tag. But let's go ahead and just put, put this in so you can hear what it's going to sound like. So thank you for calling our business for directions. Press 1 to speak to an operator. Press 2. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward, right? So let me go ahead and put this up um, onto the server. 
So if we go over here, this is the sandbox. And this is where you can test out all your phone call information. Uh, so you can either call it online or you can call it with the phone number. And you just locate all your files in a specific directory. Here it is. So I'm going to go ahead and hit call. Thank you for calling our business. For directions, press 1. To speak to an operator, press 2. So that's what we got to heard. Th heard. That's what we got to hear. <clears throat> Thank you for calling our business. For directions, press 1. So one thing we can do is change the voice to, they have a couple options. The default is a man. But if we change the voice to a woman, and I'll go ahead and put this back up. And we call it. Thank you for calling our bit. Oh, it didn't go up. Dreamweaver's been kind of crazy with me lately for putting files up onto my server, so I've had to had to use FileZilla. So I don't know what's going on there. Whoops. Thank you for calling our business. For directions, press one. To speak to an operator, press two. So you can see the difference there. That's a, a woman's voice. So you can do that. Um, we can also, just so there's no confusion, you we can do this the way uh, that I've seen it done with Twilio. Is uh, and I don't know if they if this is done this way because it's cleaner or or, or what, but um, I have done it before like that. So if we we put it like this. <clears throat> Thank you for calling Awesome Owl Business. For directions, press 1. To speak to an operator here, press 2. Okay, so... <laughs> oh, yeah, thank you for calling Awesome Our Business. Awesome. Um, so you notice that uh, since we changed the say tag, that it went back to a male voice because that's the default. So it can be done either way but we'll just we'll leave it like this for now and let's let's add the woman voice here to these two and I heard a couple of other things that need to be changed to speak to or operate sure operate that's funny um, okay so we have two options one and two and so we need to now give uh, make make something happen when one of those options are selected, and that's when we'll go into the PHP file here. So we need to access this file right here, the ivrhandler.php file. So I'm I went ahead and already created the file, but there's nothing in it. So we need to make some stuff happen. So this is going to be a PHP file as you can see um, but it needs to be read as an XML file so it's got to have the the dynamic ability of a PHP file and the scripting but it has to be read as an XML so this is where this header information comes in so I'm going to go ahead and create some open and closing PHP tags and I'm going to give it a header so and the header is going to be a content type text slash XML. So that's that way it's report it's going to be reporting as an XML file. And we need to print out the header information from the XML file. So we'll just go ahead and copy and paste this stuff here. Um and put it in here. So now when the Twilio API tries to access this PHP file, it will see it as an XML file, but we're giving it some uh, PHP scripting options. So this isn't uh, very big. It's pretty easy to keep track of directions and speak to an operator. So we don't need to, to really think a lot about it, but what I like to do here when I'm doing this is put a little reference. So uh press one for directions press two for operator 
this is good if you get in, if you get a ton of stuff, a uh, ton of options, and you just put them up here for reference, so um, so that you can see. So to begin with this, basically we're going to create a switch statement. Uh, it's kind of one of those. If this is the, if somebody presses one, then do this. If they press two, then do this. If they don't do either or whatever, we're going to do this. What we're going to do, create a response. So this is the XML portion of everything. We need to have a response, and we have a closing response tag. And. So we're going to put some scripting in here. We're going to create a switch statement. And it's the post here. And we're looking for digits. And we're going to open that tag, but we're not going to close it because it's going to be closed down at the bottom. And in fact, so that I don't forget, let's go ahead and close that out now. Um, and it looks a little bit funny. Uh, the reason is because I haven't closed this PHP tag yet. So we'll, we'll get there. So we're creating a switch statement. And the first case is going to be digit 1. So what's going to happen if, that, if we get digit 1? Well, we're going to give the directions. So we're going to say we are located at... If I, I'm going to show you something on this numbers. This is actually good to know. At 555 West Eagle Road. And we'll close that out. Okay. So then we need to give it uh, a break, which means what, what that basically means is that if it's done that, we break the string here. We, we keep from moving on and we move forward with any other options that are presented. If that wasn't the case, then we're looking for case two. And if we get to case two, if they press two, then we're going to say, thank you, I will transfer you to the operator now. We've done that, and then if that's the case, then we need to break. And if none of those are the option, then we're going to do the default. This is the default response if none of these options are met. So that default response is going to be, oops, is going to be as follows. Say uh, that is not a valid option. Please choose from the following menu. And actually we're going to keep this all in one in one say statement. So uh, for directions press 1. Now it does understand uh, punctuation so and we'll close that out. Now here's the thing though it's just saying that it doesn't know what to do with this information once you've got it so what we need to do is we need to gather that information again and we're gonna reference the file that we're already in ibrhandler.php and the method is equal to post digits equals one and let's close that out And that is that. So that should do that should do it. So let's go ahead and um, let's listen to see if our options are there. Thank you for calling our business. For directions, press one. To speak to an operator, press two. All right, let's press one. We are located at 555 West Eagle RD. Okay, so it's pretty pretty obvious of what mistakes we've got. So West Eagle RD, so we need to actually spell out road. And you notice how it said 555. Well, if we wanted to say 555, we need to separate that. 
and let's go ahead and get that put back up there and we will try this again thank you for calling our business for directions press 1 to speak to an operator press 2 we are located at 555 West Eagle Road there it is so pretty straightforward um, and then if I were to press 2 uh, we would get the option thank you I'll transfer you to operator now and let's go ahead and just for giggles let's do the default let's 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 press something that is not a valid option so let's do this thank you for calling our business for directions press 1 to speak to an operator press 2 that is not a valid option please choose from the following menu for directions press 1 to speak to an operator press Thank you. I will transfer you to the operator now. So there it is. That is the basic structure of a phone tree for Twilio. You see how easy it is. Um, they do get into a lot more complicated things, and we will get into that in later screencasts. But for now, you've got the basics, um, and and really, you can get by on this. Uh, you just you create a, an inbound call menu and then you basically just create options for the customer so if they press a button this happens if they press a button this happens and we can actually go and gather more information in here so say we put this if you would and, and I'm, I've actually done this in um, one of my clients Twilio's uh, IVRs is uh, we give them the option to text the directions to them and that handles the SMS side of Twilio which we can get into later that's not a problem so um, but we can give them another option so if you would like to have directions texted to you press 1 now so we give them another option so all we need to do is gather that information gather action is let we so we would need this uh, directions dot PHP method equals post digits equals one and then we close out the gather tag oops And that's it. So then we would create another file, directions.php, and then we would give them a more more options. So uh, this is what this is this is how it works. It's simple. It's straightforward. Again, they get into more complicated PHP scripting and stuff. Um, and and you can download. They they have great documentation. You can download the information you need. Um, you can download examples. Uh, I mean, full working examples and pick them apart. Uh, but this is how you get started with Twilio uh, as far as coding their stuff. And uh, I hope this makes sense to you. And we'll, uh, we'll get further along as we go uh, deeper into the Twilio API. But for now, you've got something to work with. Thanks.